over it. Y'all, I'm tired. Like, it's getting harder and harder every day to get up, get dressed, come to work. I feel like a robot doing the same thing day in, day out. And I'm tired. Like, I really don't have the energy. I dread waking up every morning, fighting traffic, and doing the same thing. I'm tired. My body hurts. I'm exhausted mentally, physically. Like, is this life? Because I'm over it. Imagine Dad put his daughter on daughter blast. Not respect men. <laughs> so I'm letting you know that now. And I'm not joking when I tell you that, brother. And they have mouths when it comes to them getting into disagreements and engagements with men. And they will verbally put some lashings on you, brother. Because they don't respect men. I'm just giving it to you forefront, brother. Right. So you know what you're going in. I did a video on why good guys are boring. I think it's only fair I do a video on why girls love bad boys. It's the charm. Bad boys are very charming, extremely charming, and they know women inside and out. Like, it's always the bad guys that be knowing exactly how to talk to you and exactly how to move with you. And bad boys honestly give you a challenge. Like, as much as people want to say, oh, it's toxic and this and that, like, there's a certain level where, like, I feel like your partner should be able to challenge you. And I must admit, like, who doesn't love a good chase? Like, I think healthy chase is not so terrible. I don't think you should give everything all at once. That's what makes the relationship boring when you dump everything all at the beginning. But I also have to admit, it's ego. I think the more someone shows you that they don't want you, the more you want them. That goes for men and women. I don't know, there's just something about bad boys. It's like they know how to show you the right amount of what you need. But they're just damn right players. They're no good. You into assholes or nice guys? Assholes, for sure. Assholes, assholes. What do you like about assholes? They're way more fun. Keeps things interesting. Usually controlling. So if I want to get with all y'all tonight, I need to be an asshole, right? Yeah, I feel like you're on track for that. It's something like that. Well, all of you guys look ugly as f***. What's up? City boys! City boys! What's going on, YouTube? You already know what time it is. Charles and Charles Podcast. Be back with another video. Go ahead right now and hit that like button so that we can keep on enjoying content just like this while you're at it don't forget to subscribe to the channel the goal is to get to 25,000 subs by december can't do it by myself you know what i say it will cost you a dollar or a dime but it means everything to me and as usual i appreciate everybody continuing to rock with me as i build and grow the channel all right so let me get this straight by modern woman logic what you're saying is you know you're making a bad choice you know that you're making the toxic choice but you're going to make that choice and you prefer to make that choice because it makes you feel good. That's what you're saying. Great. You know what? You can continue to do that. But then that means just do us a favor. Stop walking around playing the victim. Stop pretending that what you're looking for in men are good traits and high quality and character. When the truth is, that's not what you're really looking for. And here's the thing. No one can tell modern women who they can date. But they made it abundantly clear that they're just perfectly fine with short-term fun, even if it leads to long-term heartache and headache. And sadly, for women like this, who are still young and feel like they got a lot of time to waste, they just don't get the picture. And unfortunately, they never will, at least until it's too late. Are you going overseas? Well, guess what? If you take the risk of bringing that woman back here, do not bring her around the women in your family. They're gonna hate her values and they're gonna hate her overall demeanor. They're gonna be jealous and they're gonna sabotage your sh I'm not paying no woman's bill unless you my shorty. I'm sorry, my wife. At that point, I'm paying our bills. But if she wants to work, I'm not going to stop her from working. Like, that's more right. money for the, the family. It's not okay. like I look at things from a family aspect, not from a, oh, you taking care of it. No, we, we trying to build the best lifestyle right. for our children. Mm -hmm. That's the only time like, oh. I'm paying a woman's bills. I ain't just paying your bill because yeah, you're a woman. Like, yeah, like, yeah, I'm never I feel doing like that. Well, you hid in the box. So? Is she, is she riding is she, the what? Yeah, she hey, So imagine living in a world where you are a boss. You don't need a man for nothing. You chasing the bag, you're getting the bag. You are out here doing your thing. There's nothing that a man could do for you that you can't do on your own. But then in that same breath, you also say, if a man gonna be my man, he need to be paying all my bills. Yeah, this is the fairy tale Disneyland that many modern women live in, and it makes perfect logical sense in their heads as much as the sky being blue, water being wet, and grass being green. Listen, let's get one thing straight. Unless a woman is your wife, no guy should feel obligated, pressured, or should even make it his priority to be paying any woman's bills. 
if you want to help her out from time to time, if you want to do her a favor, give her a gift, look out for her because she's in a rough spot, then that's on you. But to make it where it's your priority and becomes your responsibility as much as it is your responsibility to cover your own bills. No, there's no place for that unless that woman is your wife. And, it's, and the reason why there are so many women who think like these women do is because there are a group of men out there who are actually doing just that, paying for women's bills. There are men out there who lead with their wallet, who feel like the best way that they can brag and show off who they are as a man is by throwing money at women, especially if you're living in large cities, New York, L.A., Miami, places where there is an abundance of attractive women and the men there, they want to stand out. This is what's going to be allow them to get that extra attention from women that makes them look like they're the man when in actuality, they're just the next sucker that these women are going to be able to get their bills paid off, live off of, and pretty much extract all the resources that they want to from that man. And when he's tired of playing that game because he's not getting enough back in return, they can just move on to the next man who's going to be willing to do the exact same thing. All right, guys, if the woman you're into is not that into you, she's going to use this one word very often. If she uses this one word really often, it's an instant sign that she's just not that into you. The one word is busy. Sorry for the late reply. I've been busy. I've been busy with the kids. I've been busy with the dogs. I've been busy with my mom. Busy, busy, busy. Look, women make time for the man she wants to keep in her life. She makes time if you're important to her. So if she seems like she's busy all the time, just accept the fact that you're probably just not important enough for her. This year, I decided I'm gonna go the full year without using any dating apps. Uh, however, I still wanna meet people. So tonight, uh, it's Friday. I'm gonna go out by myself. Okay, um, this is what I'm gonna wear. Just passing a beer garden that was full of people with their friends. It's okay. This will be fun. Okay, <clears throat> that did not go well and was a little embarrassing. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find another place to go though. I don't know what I thought, like, I genuinely thought that I was going to meet people. It was just that, like, the, the jazz bar was too crowded. There wasn't even anywhere to sit. I'm going to go again. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying, but that was, that was really hard. So what you have going on right here is backlash from everything that occurs because of social media. It's so easy for so many women, average, below average, above average, whatever, to be able to obtain attention and have options because of social media, being able to stand in front of a mirror, take however many pictures it takes to catch that one perfect angle with the one perfect lighting for that one perfect shot, then you get to post it, get thousands of likes from guys all around, giving you that ego boost you want and you've been looking for. And ultimately, all that does is fuel women's thought process where they believe they are far more attractive many times than what really is the reality. This is why she's crying and so emotional over it. Imagine a man going out and getting no attention from a woman and then coming back home crying. You would look at that man like something was wrong with him. But because so many women have gotten used to the standard of always having attention from men readily available right on their phones, this is why she's so emotional about the situation. Because in her mind, it just didn't turn out the way she thought it was. And she just can't really handle the reality of what life is telling her she now has to face. And this is something that's going to have an effect mainly on average looking women. Because for them, they're the ones who get the biggest boost from social media. So for the prettiest women, they really won't have any issues, whether on social media or in person. 
they're still going to see practically the same type of attention because men will just still be drawn to them either way. But for the average looking women, they're the ones who's going to be hit or miss and are going to suffer the most. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. As always, go ahead and hit that like button so that you keep on enjoying content just like this. While you're at it, don't forget, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you next time.